So there are these dream se sequences that are all very different musically. So it was really a process. You know, Mike is a comedian and a writer, and a lot of how we started was he would he would say we would sit in my studio and he would basically recite the voiceover, and I would improvise on piano, which was Mike's idea. I'd, I'd never done that before, and he was like, because it was so about the tempo and the timing of the comedy. <laughs> Once I got a grasp on that, then we started out with some stylistic explorations. When I first saw Rough Cut, I thought, oh, maybe this is sort of in the eternal sunshine realm. And then we started working on it, and that felt sort of too surreal in some way. And then it all came back to storytelling, ultimately. So a lot of the music... And then we discussed, and what helped actually is Seth's a musician as well. So he was actually able to talk in, in, a, in specific musical language. Michael was able to talk in just how he always felt his comedy and this, sh and this film should feel. So the combination was actually helpful because Seth, and Seth's been working with Mike for so many years that that, that was actually really beneficial to the process. Creatively, there were two things that were going on that were unique to this film. Uh, one is there, the film is structured in a way where there's really three storylines that sort of weave together. And each storyline seems to in some way have its own feel and aesthetic and everything. And one of the challenges we had was to come up with something that would support the individual storylines and also in some way tie together. And so that was one of the reasons why it was such an exploration. The, the creative team, myself, Ira, Mike, and Andy are sort of insanely collaborative. So we would sit in the room and, and you know, somebody would say like, well, I think this. And turn, what do you think? And because there's a history, we were able to sort of speak quickly. And our, our, our rule of thumb generally was if somebody had a thought, and we would kind of go, yeah. And we sort of ride with that until we came to some sort of uh, group mind. So there really wasn't a sense of like, you know, oh, man, there's a real kind of conflict. There was sort of a constant give and take. 